These waters are considered a living ancestral being by local Aboriginal people. We always say water always brings life back to the people, to the animal and to the land. And parts of the Margaret River east of Fitzroy Crossing are now better protected after being drawn into a newly declared national park, Warbidi. We were thinking that if we, if a mine get up or we block the, put a dam up here, it's going to really affect the rest of the people. A ceremony on the river flats between politicians and elders on Guniandi country. Marking the commitment to the new conservation area hopes that it will both protect the land and create opportunities. There will be more jobs when it comes to looking after the country. You know, we have a lot of country to cover, so the more ranges we have, you know, the more better we can look after our country. The state government initially promised a single national park covering the Fitzroy River, but changed its approach. This is the first national park in the Fitzroy Valley, but it is part of a series of national parks we're currently working on. The declaration of the Wadiabidi National Park means it's now an A-class reserve. That means it's protected. It can't be dammed or developed unless both Houses of Parliament approve. Despite the new protections, negotiations with pastoralists over a contentious water management plan for the river catchment are continuing. We've got to negotiate and work our way through it and come up with a, come up with a situation where it's a win-win. For now, the Goodyandi people are savouring a historic moment. Jessica Hayes, ABC News, Fitzroy Crossing.